Hello and welcome to the show. I am back here in Finland for some more My Summer Car. We are on the way to making our Satsuma into a proper rally car. Now, last time out, we got it past inspection. It is uh, now fully road legal. We went to the shop. I've loaded my car up ready for our next epic journey. We're full of beer and other bits and pieces. Sounds like a plan, really. And, uh, yeah, we're going to head over to the garage. I hope it's still going to be open by the time we get there because we're going to put a roll cage in. However, before we do that, some people have pointed out that uh, I've been running low on oil. I think I might have an oil leak, and I'm not quite sure... Why? So that's what we're going to do today to start with. We've got an oil, a tub of oil, from the shop. We don't have a particularly great way of looking underneath the car or kind of lifting the car up to look at bits, but this is going to have to do, really. Try and pray we don't glitch everything out massively. And yeah, see if we can figure out what it is. Now, I, I, I know when I put the car together, I thought I'd tightened everything. It's possible that I've missed something somewhere. Now, as far as I know... Oh, bugger, that's not good. Um, that's not good at all, is it? Because that's now going to be stuck, and I bet I can't get that out. Uh, no, we can't get that out. And now we're going to try and find a hitbox. There we go. Okay, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Put a little too far forward. Uh, <laughs> with the amount of buckled bits on this car, it's kind of hard to... Tell, yeah, there's a little bit, a little bit not quite where I meant to put it. Uh, in fact, a lot bit not quite where I meant to put it. Uh, there we go, all the way back down. I think you have to have these things all the way down before you can move them. Possibly either way. Right, let's put that in there. That should do the that should do the trick. Unfortunately, you can't just hold down. So it is currently spam click and hope that it lifts the vehicle up. I don't, as far as I know, these things don't have like jacking points, so you don't have to worry about uh, putting it through the floor of the car. That's gonna have to do. Uh, right, can we get a... We can kind of-ish get a look at the... At the sump. Yeah, we can kind of just about get a... Get a look. I mean, as far as I can tell, it all looks pretty tightened up. I do know that uh, there is a, a new mechanic added since I first played this game and first built the Satsuma, whereby fluids and whatnot will leak out over time. Now, it is possible I just didn't fill it up as much as I might have needed to or something dumb like that. We're going to wait and see. Well, I say we're going to wait and see. We're going we're gonna to do what I can with the uh, thing. Are we gonna? Are you going to let me open the toolbox? No, wait. Uh... There we go. <laughs> Apparently, this is the tough part, opening the toolbox. Not the actual car mechanicing bit. That's fine. Opening the toolbox, however is a pain in the ass. Yeah, if if we do up or if we can't find any undone bolts and uh, we'll top it up with oil and then see there is no no that's not a, that's not a thing that I can do. So the sump is definitely done. Uh the, the sump plug, sorry, is definitely done. Let's try let's see if we can find the right these look pretty small, but we're gonna go through all of these anyway just to be on the safe side. Uh, da, 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 we, it, it highlighted something, but not the thing that we want. Uh, nope, not going to be that one either. Oh, a little bit difficult. Uh, there we go. Right, so that's... I mean, these are looking all pretty done. That's done in there. And then we have that one. And then we've got to really be careful that we don't anger the... Uh, that's a different thing, I think. Uh, anger the physics of the Satsuma by uh, doing the, again, the Finnish head bump mechanicking method. Uh, it works wonders most of the time. Uh, there we go, that's when it doesn't work wonders. Oh, the bonnet's come down. We're gonna, I think we have to lift the car up and check from the other side. Uh, as far as I can tell, they all seem pretty done up, and they're the only bolts as far as oil's concerned. I, I think don't think there's anything else. I mean, I guess... I mean, oil could... Oil could leak out of the rocker cover. Potentially... Oh, God, we need to the jack through the floor. <laughs> we are super strong with that... Oh, God, with our tools. It, never mind. We will get... Oh, that's the wrong button. That's not a button I wanted to press at all. Right. Go sit in there. Right. Let's try again, lifting the car up. I guess we can... Yeah, we can check the rocker cover feel like I've done everything up there as well, and I, 
I don't know what bits will have oil leak out of them when you're... Certainly what bits will have oil leak out of them on my summer car. Uh, just because it would have oil leak out of it in real life doesn't mean it can on here. Uh, that's done. That one is done. There one in the middle somewhere there. Yeah, they're all done. All of the bolts, as far as I can tell, are done up. I mean, it's good to doubly, triply... Oh, okay, wait, let's... Uh, we don't need to have it left up on this. This is just asking for pain and trouble. Drop, 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 drop. Uh, this is going to probably cost us a chance of getting the... I say getting the roll cage done today. We will get it done in this episode, because if we get to the garage and it's shut, which it probably will be, there is a toilet out there that you can save at, and then we can just sort of skip time by saving and reloading. Oh, uh, that's just vibrate... Ah, okay, so we do have to have it all the way down properly before we can move it. Awesome. And then we will need to get in here... Pull that. I don't know if it actually shut the bonnet properly when we were messing around. Maybe that shut the bonnet properly. Uh, <laughs> okay, car. We're we're already playing. Whoa! Good God! We're already playing funny buggers, and we've just got. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out why we're. Well, oh, piss! I just wanted to figure out why we're leaking oil. We've gone to space, and now we keep dropping the bonnet like a moron. There we go. Right. Are you the right tool? Are you the right spanner for the rocker cover? Yes. I mean, these, again, these look pretty solid done up around here. This is where we find one missed, like at the back here. No, that one's done. That one's done. That one's done. I'll just go around there and check that there's not an extra one somewhere. As far as I know, there isn't. Um, it looks good to me. Right. Then we will get our tub of oil and we will undo this and chuck this in and well hopefully that will do the job yeah I mean we were we were we're not quite out there is still a little bit of oil going on in there oh, God, sometimes trying to get these hitboxes right if we go far away as possible because it's the maximum reach and we might be able to get a there we go I'm just gonna kind of fill it I I don't know if the dipstick's actually usable on this. I kind of just guess by the green bars, and if that says it's okay, then that's okay. Yeah, I guess it's possible I didn't fill it up. Uh, I'm pretty sure I filled it up all the way when I built the car. It's possible I didn't. It's also you know, possible we had the glitch with the bonnet falling off for no apparent reason. I guess it may have reset, like, a oil stat or something. Whatever, whatever caused the bonnet to fall off may have impacted the oil. Uh, I don't know how much... Still oil in it, so that can go in the back of the car. Uh, this we're going to very, very, very carefully put in the car because it's glitched everything out last time. I don't know if it's got better. We're not going to try and find out, though, today. That can open. Uh, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to put this... I'm not putting it in the boot because the boot is currently full of stuff. So that can sit in the back seat. Uh, <laughs> the, boot, the boot is full of beer crates and the odd other things. Right, toolkit can go in the passenger footwell, I think. Seems like a good place to put uh, such an important part of the game. That can close. That can close. We should be good on everything. Yeah, that can close as well. That door's a, a bit... Di uh, again, I'm probably going to cheat and reset the damage because, well, glitchy physics sent me to space for no good reason has buckled up my door. Uh... Let us uh, get the car. Whoopsie! Let us get the car fired up, and uh, we'll try again. There we go. Right. Uh, it is still cold, so if we pull out the choke, we should be good for a little while at least. Uh, oh no! Uh, we were we were already in driving mode. Okay. Away we go. Now we are heading off towards uh, Lopi, which is. I believe in uh, this direction. I've been speed a while since I, I've been to Lopi from the uh, from the city. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. This is the way out. This is the way out that we want to be going. Uh, God, we're pulling really, really badly. Uh, we're gonna fix that up as well while we're at the mechanic. We'll get him to do the alignment <laughs> because I trust him slightly. Better than I trust myself. That was another horrible, horrible crunch. Lopi isn't too far away. I'm really hoping that uh, he's still going to be open. Uh, it's, it's probably going to be pushing our luck slightly to get there on time. Now, 
the the road to Lopi, I don't know if we... I think we have the little green chaotic driver around here. I think he will uh, crash in. I think he will, he will head around this part and could potentially crash into us. So we're going to have to be mindful of that. Oh, God. Especially when we're pulling so badly, it is going to be a struggle to uh, to kind of get out of the way. If we can put the choke back in again, we'll see what we're... Okay, we're running okay on the air-fuel ratio for now. That was the, the problem I was having why we were overheating last time out, is that it was running too lean. Thank you for people uh, for telling me all of that. We, through sheer guesswork, I've actually got it working relatively okay, which is always, which is always nice. Got some blind crests coming up. There is the Barnfine garage on the left, which just went past. That's got the muscle car in it that uh, I did like when I first loaded up this game to get the, the early bits of money before I got bored and cheated I did go and drag that to the uh, garage. Easy bits of money to begin with but uh, there's only three barn fires. I don't know if they reset we could have gone and had a look had I thought about it if we weren't having much struggles with our car our, ga our gauges are looking happier oh okay we got stuck on the dirt and I couldn't pull the car off we couldn't get the car back onto the road. That is one of the dangers with these kind of these ditches that go alongside the road. You run wide, you get a wheel stuck and you can't pull the car back into line and if there happens to be water along these ditches then that's uh, trouble. Real, real bad. Trouble? Okay, we're going to... Oh. <laughs> so we've got to carefully do it. I'm trying to be as careful as I can while still making half decent time through all of this because if we do get to the garage there is the spare car so that we can borrow the big American muscle car. The thing is, when I was doing the uh, the mission, not to say the mission, when I was recovering the vehicles, when I was putting the trailers in, uh, putting the trailers, putting the wrecks in, sorry, uh, I might have bumped the muscle car out of the way and it is a little bit stuck. So before we abandon this, I've got to get the muscle car unstuck, otherwise we will be stranded in Lopi. And that's not great, really. Um, we can hitchhike. I believe you can get uh, you can get a ride. I think with a green car you might be able to uh, to get a ride, but uh, it's less than ideal. So we will we will see what we can do. We must be nearly there. This road feels so much longer when you're driving in a wonky Satsuma. It's much nicer when uh, are we good? Are we good? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's much nicer when you are driving, well, the septic trucker is the one I've spent the most time driving with, and you can really hammer that through these roads, and that's great fun. Uh, this, oh, has just done a spin and is in one piece. The door's opened. Okay, car. Bloody hell, it's all stayed together. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd rolled it. I thought that might have even been us dead if we'd landed upside down, but no. No, the Satsuma has lived. I am actually very impressed. I did not think that would go so well. Right. Uh, oh, we're in fourth gear. Get back into a... Oh, piss. Uh <laughs> well done, me. All right, there's a gear. Let us... Let us get going. Lopi is... Well, there have got to keep an eye out. I'm pretty sure I've been crashed into at this junction uh, here, so we will just be wary of the moron. Uh, there we can see where I dumped the muscle car. Uh, in fact, well, there's the wreck of the muscle car, so I guess it doesn't respawn. And there is the uh, other muscle car stuck on a, on a hill. Yeah, I pushed it and then I pushed it out of the way and then I tried to rescue it and then it got even more stuck. So, <laughs> yeah. It's not gone massively well, let's be honest. Um, can we tow hook? There we go. Uh, please, don't tell, please tell me that this will reach, because I don't really... Oh, bugger, I don't really want to put my car in a ditch. I don't want to put my car in a ditch, but I also don't want to put it on the road, because that's where we might get run into. So we're going to very, very tentatively move ourselves forwards. And that should be enough to then go and rescue... I was hoping this car would reset its position, but uh, apparently not. Da, 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 da. If we can just get it free, I'm sure it'll have more than enough power to pull itself out. It's just the getting it free of the initial bit that might be the issue. And this may not have the power to do it. I'm going to try, though. If we can just shunt it, that's all it's going to take. Right, so if we give it a bit of revs, reverse. Oh, come on. Come on. Work free, muscle car. Uh, that's not great news, is it? Uh... <laughs> 
think it's safe to say that's not worked. That's not worked at all. Um, let's put that handbrake on. We should probably leave it in. Nope, that's... Uh, no, we don't want to be hitchhiking. Uh, door open. Door... Stay open. Right, let's see if that has manoeuvred the muscle car in such a way that we can get it free. Because I am a little bit wary of my fatigue bar being uh, quite high. So if we go in here, we can... There we go. Glorious sound of the muscle car. Uh, we will put it in... Oh, I saw a revert. I've got to hold... Ah, I remember. We've got to hold down. Aha! It might not have towed it free, but it has got it unstuck. Fantastic. Yeah, I couldn't... I tried my very best to reverse it out of, but I guess just shuffling about a little bit uh, has done enough to... Uh, to let that get free. Okay, that's... Out of the way. So that Zuma can stay there. It's not going anywhere. Nothing, nothing bad is going to happen to it. Please still be open. I don't think you are. Oh, bugger. It's... There we go. We shall wee on you through the window because you won't open the damn gate. I can see you there. In fact, you are watching me wee through the window. And I'm not sure which is worse, quite frankly. Um, bugger. I really hoped we would we would have made it in, in time. Sun is still... Sun is still up, but there we go. That's... Uh, Ass. Well, we've made it to the garage at least. The car is here, it's in one piece. We've got the muscle car free of the ditch, which means that I'm now going to mess around with time and then we can get a roll cage. Right, finally we have got the uh, garage open. We're running dangerously low on fatigue, but uh, there we go. Hello, mechanic person. Let's have a look in here. Um, right, so what we want is we want a roll cage install, or we want wheel alignment. They are by far and away the most important things. Brakes working, engines working, um, engine... Uh, we, we're going to mess around with that ourselves, I don't really want to do anything else. Um, we'll keep the gears as they are for now, we may well come back to them. Uh, we're not going to paint. We're going to use the, the the spray cans just for fun, basically. So we will pay for that. Um, thank you very much for giving me the car. Uh, now, I don't quite know what we do with, with our vehicle. Do we put our vehicle in here? Or do we just have to bugger off? Like, maybe if I... Okay, right, what we're going to do... We're going to put the Satsuma in front of the garage and then hope that he does the stuff that we need him to? I mean, it's, it's, it's quite a... Uh, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, this is all quite random, but there we go. Oh, we managed to stall the damn car. Well done, mate. Uh, there we go, right. Uh, let's not go crash into his vehicle. I was expecting one of the doors to open and for me to have to drive my car into it somewhere. I'm still not sure if that's not something that we have to do and that I've just done it wrong. That, like, um... Like, I, I would imagine that that is where my car would have to go. It would make sense to me to that, that to be somewhere for it to go, but there's nowhere, as far as I can tell... <laughs> We're just going to kind of leave our car and hope that stuff gets done. Um, well, that's not quite what I expected, but there we go. We have now got to, once more, go and do our finished special rally stage to get home. Oh, the jack's fallen out of the car. That's amazingly helpful. Um, shall we go stick this? probably safer for everybody, let's be honest. But we will go and take this with us. We'll stick it in the muscle car. And, yeah, try and race home before we die. That is the uh, that is the aim of the game now. I can sit in there. The last time I tried this, we, we, it was the dead of night. I got the van stuck and all sorts of things went wrong. Uh, there we go. There's a gear. That's the thing that we want. Right. Oh, the... <laughs> Forgot, forgot how much of an oversteery mess this thing could be. Right, if we stick it in two, which is essentially forcing it into second gear, am I right in saying that? Um, with these automatic boxes, there we go. Right, 
on to the road we go. Now, we can hopefully make it without a crazy, crazy amount of wheel spin. Oh, it's so nice having a car that drives in a bloody straight line. It is so nice to, <laughs> to have that. Uh, fingers crossed we can not bin this one. I mean, if we roll over, if we roll over and get this car stuck now, I'm pretty sure that will be us dead. I don't know how long... Apparently, the, like, the fatigue bar being in the red still means you have a fair bit of time to get home. I don't know how much a fair bit of time is. We shall, well, potentially, potentially find out if this, if this gets wedged. I don't have anything to even try and rescue it with. Pushing the car doesn't seem to work very well anymore, uh, so the hope for me getting out is uh, practically, practically nil. We are going to get up to 70 kilometers an hour. Oh, bugger, bugger, bugger. Panic! Break! Ah! Uh, <laughs> I knew we'd find it eventually. <laughs> I knew we'd find it eventually. I'd hoped it wouldn't be on a blind crest. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Um. <laughs> oh crap, that's a... <laughs> car. Uh, can we steal his car? Oh wait, put on the brake. Park. Got to go and have an investigation. Oops. Oh, it, it definitely looks like a murder scene. Oh dear. That would be because it, well, it was a murder scene. Uh, it does look like the, 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 the body is interactable. Oh, can we... Uh... <laughs> oh, I wish I had more fatigue to sit here and play around. We haven't... Uh... Can we... Can we if, we... if we move the body... Can we... Uh, I'm not sure we've really moved the body very well. Can we hide it and then nobody will... To be fair... There's no one here, why am I worrying? Nobody will know who did it anyway. Uh, <laughs> quickly, enter driving mode. We're in park. There are some gears in there. Uh, yeah, it wasn't me. I had nothing to do with the... Well, people have been telling me that you can kill the, the, the various drivers around. And we have completely and utterly accidentally. I didn't even set out on a murder spree. It just so happened that we... I mean, in fact, we didn't hit him as hard as we could have done. I mean, we did hit relatively quickly. Oh, that's not a gear that we want to be in. There we go. Keep it in the in the two. I, I'm assuming it's second. I can't think of anything better to... Uh, or anything better to explain what it might be. Anyway, distraction. I've also just remembered I left all of the beer in the car. All of the beers in the car. So we'll have to get home very quickly, sleep, to reactivate. Oops. That's uh, an overshoot. That's a big overshoot. Uh, right, reverse. There we go. Spin it round. It's fine. And then drive. Don't get wedged. Thank you, car. Uh, <laughs> that could have been very, very embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> it is a very, very... There we go. Okay, so it's, it, once, it's, once the auto gearbox has put it up into second, we're fine. But uh, until then, it is just wanting to wheel spin. At least we've now got rid of the green car from this loop. I don't know how long it is before it respawns. We're probably not going to see it again. And the fact that we crashed into it in the indestructible car is uh, quite helpful. Now, I don't know whether you can die in these vehicles. I believe they made it so that you could die inside. I pressed V instead of downshift. I don't know why I wanted to do down. I wanted to put it in this mode again because this mode is helpful. I've faffed around plenty with this car. Anyway, distraction. Um, I don't know how long it'll take before the vehicle respawns. And you can, I believe, die in the truck now. Because I know before it was pretty much indestructible. Certainly I'd never died in it. Oh, we've, we've spun again. Uh, I do seem, to be the, do seem to remember this being my experience with this car last time as well. Uh, lots of spinning around in circles because it's... Uh, yeah... Quite a lot of power, and I'm <laughs> on a keyboard at the moment. Because like, I knew I was going to be doing lots of faffing about with the car and getting it working. I haven't plugged the Xbox controller back in yet for the uh, the driving parts. And so, yeah, we've got the keyboard, and it's not the best for driving high-powered muscle car on dirt. It's got no grip. I will. I, I can't even remember if I finished the train of thought I was having a minute ago and, until we spun out. Uh, to do with to do with deaths, yeah, I don't know if you can die inside the muscle car. I know you can in more vehicles now. I don't know whether you can inside this. Uh, ooh, come on, don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Keep spinning the wheels, keep it going. There we... <laughs> that was some luck. That was some 
pure, complete and utter luck right there of donutting around on the spot and somehow we made it. Somehow we made it out of the ditches. That's quite impressive really, but we've still got a fair way to go down this, down this road. Oh, good God. He's, uh, <laughs> he's not going to be too happy with me when he gets his car back. He's going to need to do more repair work on this than he's doing on my car, I suspect, because it is horrible and bumpy and all of the nasty things. Get back on the road. Oh, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Just about control car. Thank God for that. Um, right, I spy home. Well, almost home. There's the uh, part of our home, and then the other part of our home is here. Oh, we're going to maybe crash our car, or if not, we're going to kind of oh, arrive home just about and arrive, arrive home uh, try and talk to Thor and then we will that's the wrong button again oh now we're talking to Satan we've gone through all of the different God, that's that's there we go that's park uh, the well the thing's still in there the what's my called the uh, the car's still running never mind I got to sleep before I die that's what we're doing here we've got to get to sleep before I don't want I don't don't want to risk it there's no need to risk it any more than we already are sleep please thank you <sighs> right, then we will have a drink, then we will have some food, uh, and then we will probably use the sauna. That will probably be before uh, next episode, though. A drink, please, before we... Oh, there we go. <sighs> Thank God for that. <laughs> Had a momentary panic that that wasn't going to work. And then some food. We'll probably have to plug the phone back in. I'm assuming he's going to call... Uh, to let me know when the car is ready. I don't know. Uh, we're going to then go and grab some food from in here. And that will be that. Okay. We are... Oh, actually, I say it's in indestructible. We have dented it slightly at the front. We have dented the muscle car. I don't know how much petrol there is in this either. Uh, oh, plenty. Plenty to be uh, getting on with. That, though, is going to be it for this episode. We have, uh, yeah, I think left our car. We'll, we'll wait and see uh, <laughs> to get it fixed up, get the roll cage installed, steering sorted out, and so on. Then we will be ready for racing harnesses and racing seats and all the new bits and pieces that are going to come in with our uh, shop order. Shall we go and we'll close up... I thought I heard the phone go. No, it's the uh, wildlife. Uh, we will close up the doors. That is, uh, yeah, going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye. <laughs>